my channel. I just want to thank everyone who's supporting me so far with my channel. And I'm really excited about the future. So I just want to thank everyone firstly for that. Today's video is going to be a B&M shop with me video. As I haven't done one for a little while. So I thought it would be something different just to see what range they've got in now and compare it to when I went at Christmas time. They had a lot of things in last time and the range has slightly changed. So I thought I'd update you guys on that and show you what they've got in for the summer and the spring because they've got new pots, they've got gardening stuff and all that good stuff really. And they've got some new bits and pieces like the Biscoff biscuits which you saw in my other video which was the haul, my B&M haul video, which I'll link in the, this video as well, in a little card at the top it will be. So I'll link that in as well so you guys can watch that. It's quite a big shop really, the one I went to, and I thought it had a big range of garden stuff. And it's all quite reasonably priced as well. Um, it wasn't too expensive. They had anything from pruners, loppers, to... Um, plant pots and trellises and fences so a lot of people now are getting like these things that cover your fence now for some privacy and they had all that kind of stuff as well so that was quite good to see so with that I'm just going to get on with the video now as I think I've talked long enough if you have any questions or anything then you can just feel free to comment below but I really hope you enjoy this video it means a lot to me that so many people are enjoying my channel and it's slowly building up. As I did start it when I wasn't 100% um, myself. But I'm feeling much better now with my mental health and that. But I'll do some more videos about that if you're interested um, in the future. So just let me know what you want to see. As I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. I'm trying to stick to the lifestyle side, like the halls and things. But I did wonder about doing like cooking with me videos if anyone would want to see them or what I eat in a day. But just comment below and let me know. With that, I'll let, I'll let you get on with watching the rest of the video. And I'll see Over here we have some pink and grey dining chair cushions. They're two in a pack for $7.99. And they had some yellow ones as well which were running out as you can see. To the left they had this red oil with lots of different breads wholemeal 50 50 white brown and they had these lovely pots on the top which i thought would be nice with a nice bay tree out the front of your home over here we've got these lucky charm cereals with the buno range underneath there was a large buno range of different chocolates and things now some of you will have seen my b m haul i did buy the little pots of lucky charms to try out as they are an American cereal typically and we don't normally have them here in the UK. So I thought I'd try them for something a bit different. Moving on we have these Harry Bows. They also had the Bassets next door to the Harry Bow range. They had different mints, worms and I'm just showing you these take care packs which had three things, the sanitizer, the masks and the wipes which I thought would be quite interesting for the O's of you with children who are sending their children back to school soon and maybe sending their children to nursery. This is the Bassett range, they had like the gummies and the different bits and pieces. Then moving on, this is the Millions refill pack with the little machine that you can put your Millions in and fill them up. They were $2.99 for the machine. And I'm not sure how much the bag was. Them cheesy snacks up there were just a pound. And then they had some fruit gums and things near the bottom. Here we have a range of cereal. We have Kellogg's here, we have Nestle, and we have Weetabix. I'm just showing you these cereals as they've got the bowls for the Nestle up here. And then down here they've got the Kellogg's ones which seem to have ran out because I've been to other places like Iceland and they had way more in the Kellogg's range.
Over here we've got some lovely dog toys in the middle of the quiz file. I thought these looked a bit rude. Um, my friend also thought they looked a bit rude. But also a bit of a weird location, I think, dog toys in the middle of the quiz section. So I'll show you later the proper dog section with a range of different things. Moving on, we've got these lovely planters, which I thought would be lovely for on your windowsill, or you could put them in a little bracket outside of your lounge or kitchen, depending on the layout of your property. As people are starting to get more planters and starting to look forward to spring now, and starting to get their gardens looking lovely, ready for the summer and the spring ahead. To the left of the crisps, we've got some loppers, pruners, and some trowels. We've also got some hedge trimmers just above the loppers there. The loppers are about seven pounds, and I'm gonna say, I think the hedge trimmers are about the same, maybe a bit cheaper. We've got some nice penguin bars here, and all that good stuff. This is Mint Penguin, which I don't see very often. I always see the originals in the red next to them. But I thought they were quite a good price, really. They normally range about a pound a pack, no more than that, in any retailer. And then they had these today rolls with chocolates in, which are a French type patisserie thing with chocolate, which the French like to have in the morning. They've got these Jaffa cakes as well, which aren't just orange but they're trying out a few different flavours I think to spice up the range and they're doing the chocolate bars down the bottom as well then we got onto this like bakery section which was quite interesting with Mr Kipling as one of the main staple foods and we're moving into the crackers now which were quite reasonably priced to be honest I remember a girl I would sneak into a parent's house I could stay for hours And we looked into each other's eyes Hey, I thought I was wrong Over here they've got these puppy pads for $12.99 Which I thought was quite a good idea Because a lot of people are getting puppies at the moment Who wouldn't have had one before due to working commitments I personally, some of you know want a lovely little white westy but I'm making plans for my future career so I can hopefully work from home and get one. Anyway, they've got bakers and they had different foods in this section as well. They had tin food, packaged food, pouches, but most of it was dry. Over here they've got these cat dreamies which I've never had a cat before so I think they're like a dried treat as they're 95p and that doesn't look enough food to feed your cat for a week to me but they were quite good they had different um, flavours according to the colour of the packet I think just over here we've got the cat section with lots of food from wet to dry food they've got the pouches the dry food in items They've got more Dreamies range over here, which is the main selection. They've got scratching posts at the top, carriers, and anything you need really for your cats. Here we've got dog balls and more dog toys again. And we've got the dog bowls here, which I did show you in the last video in December. But I just wanted to update it with these grey bowls, which I just zoomed in there. As I don't remember seeing them last time. And I thought I'd show you the dog flaps and the feeders and the bowls and the bits and pieces they've got in this time. Anyone who's seen my personal blogs, the few that I've done, knows that my home is grey and white like Mrs Hinch's. I think it's a lovely classic colour and it's something a bit different. These suede containers, I really like them. I thought they'd go nice in your bathroom for like bits and pieces like toiletries or flannels to wash your face in the morning would be quite nice. They've got this rose gold section in lampshades, toilet holders, bins and everything really. It was a bit of a random section once again. But I really like these mats. I am going to go back when I get paid and look at getting another set of bath mats because I do have two sets but I'd like another one. 
maybe in a slightly different colour to lift the bathroom and so it's not always so dark as well. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes, I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes, I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else, I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else. I do like the rose gold myself, but I don't think it would really suit my decor and my personal style, but I can understand why it's been quite popular for such a while now. I did like these little hand pumps as well, but for me personally I've already got that type of thing. Whereas if you as a young female setting up your first home, be it rented or brought, you could buy some of these nice little caddies and these rose gold and pink things which would be quite nice and feminine to start your new home. Over here we've got these dog cooling beds which I have heard about them before but I never saw these last time we went to b and I think they're quite new for the summer as people will be in their gardens and it's nice to have a mat on like your patio to keep it cool for your dog so they don't burn their paws or anything like that. We've got some two pound toys here for dogs. These are really budget friendly but I've not got a dog so I haven't tried the quality out to see if they last and if they're worth spending the money on. But I did really like the pizza and the animal ones as well. Just in the cleaning section now, there's nothing new but these Vielda mops that I thought I'd show you. They're $14.99 which I thought was a really good price and I'm tempted to get one because I just want a quick mop that I can spray the floor and throw the pad in the washing machine after. I'm not keen on having wipes that you throw in the bin. Over here we've got these $5.99 retro mop buckets next to this $6.99 multi-pack of Ariel. Now I'm not 100% sure how many washes the Ariel does for each pack. But here we've got the retro buckets which are B&M's own brand I believe. And they had the matching brushes and mops not far away. I really like this flower one as well. I thought that would be nice for a florist in their shop or like a hairdresser who has to clean their own shop. Here we've got the flash power mop which I was actually tempted to buy but then when I looked into all the batteries, the solution and the pads I didn't like how uneco friendly it would be. So I'm leaning more to the Vielda mop as well now. Up here we've got the Vielda Spin Mop which I've got which was quite expensive, it's about £25 when they first come out. £17.50 is a much more better price and again you can take the heads off and put them in the washing machine. Moving on now we're just going to look at the laundry drying racks as I thought these were something a bit different that I hadn't filmed before. They had a good range I felt, ones that went over your radiator or freestanding. We had some more racks over here for drying things underneath the spin mop. They had some laundry baskets up there which were quite modern. And they had these pegs and the Mrs Hint spray bottles. The spray bottles were no more than £2. And they had some of the laundry inspired Mrs Hinch design stuff down there. That brush there that you just saw is quite good because you can get all the lint and hair off and you put it in the box, pull it out and it cleans your brush. Over here are the matching brushes, just pen and brushes, mops and bits and pieces that match the mop buckets that I showed you earlier. They've got the normal flash mop there which isn't the power one, it's the first model they brought out. They had some lovely scrubbing brushes which were pink and other different colours as well. When the tidal waves come around, then wipe off what we built. Would you fight for love or would you back down and let a hope drown? When the world is everything, no break us up for good. Would you hang around? Just saw this lovely candle 
which I felt would be like something you see in one of these interior design magazines as I've been looking through them. We've also got this pink throw and they've also got these other tropical type candles with prints on and they've got these artificial lemons in a vase which would look nice on your dining table. We've also got these cushions as well in pink and mustard which were in a random collection together for some reason. I love these frays, they're so soft and fluffy and it's just nice sometimes to come home and get cosy on the sofa and watch a lovely film together, isn't it? There were a reasonable price these cushions, I did actually buy one myself which I will talk about later in the video for $8.50. These throws are really soft, as you know I've got a mustard one which I believe was from the range, it wasn't from B&M but it was really nice and fluffy and I really like it. I always put off mustard and grey but it works really well in my lounge as it adds a nice pop of colour. There's more mustards going on over here with a mix of grey and pink linen baskets as well. Over here we've got some geometric type cushions with grey, white and mustard which is an interesting design. I don't know how many they'd sell of them but that would go quite nice actually in my lounge. They've also got these rugs as well as a lot of people I think rugs are back in trend. They're very vogue at the moment, lots of people are having them. But they've never been a better price when you go to somewhere like B&M. When I was growing up you always had to go to a proper rug shop or an interior shop like Next. They've got these lovely throws as well, I'd really love one of these throws for my bed. As I would like a new throw which is double sided. But I'm putting it off at the moment as I am saving for a property of my own. So I'm going to wait and see. We'll just turn more into the main cushion and pillow section. We've got these nice grey geometric cushions with black and silver and some other grey and white pillows. I thought they were quite reasonably priced. They were starting about £8.50 I think. And I thought they were as a nice finish to the bedroom or the lounge as when I moved I added some extra cushions onto my settee I got three with it and then I bought another two as you can never have enough cushions can you in the home I absolutely love this grey and white with yellow cushions so I bought that for 850 for my settee as the other one is a bit bigger but it's going quite flat so I'm going to wash all that and see if it will fluff up. I really like this grey rug. It is a higher quality than mine that I got off eBay. And it's much thicker. So I like the pattern as well. Over here we've got the pink, white and grey section. It's mainly pink though. And I think they're selling quite a lot of the stuff. It's starting to move now. When things start to open up again it will all be gone over the fork. This is the same as my pillow, but it's got, instead of the yellow, they've changed it to pink. Which I felt was quite modern and stylish, but also on a budget. So it's like looks on a budget. And they've got these nice rose gold pillows, and this is just some of the bedding stuff I thought I'd show you. But something a bit different really, I have never showed you that last time. Here they've got the pink rug which are very popular at the moment once again. They've got many styles, thicknesses and they were all really soft and comfortable and they looked easy to clean as well which I thought was quite good. For something a bit different I thought I'd film the curtains this time and I thought their rounds were quite reasonably priced as it's being in it would be but I also was amazed at the range they had they had all different styles, sizes and textures to suit different people as well. Anyone who's been following me for a little while now on my channel knows I love a bit of hinging and a bit of organisation. So I thought I'd film these cube storage containers 
They come in a range of different colours and styles. They're £7 for two, but I really like the shimmer glitter ones, which were really nice. I think the lid also comes in the pack as well, judging by that picture. But I thought it'd be good while some of you are off work and you can organise all your stuff, which is lovely. Over here they've got some children ones because I think it's really important to teach children some organisation as when they get older and they get their own properties and they're moving to their own homes the habit's are already set in then to keep organised and you know where everything is. You save money as well, you don't have to waste money buying stuff that you've lost because, it, because you're not a disorganised mess and everything's organised. Over here they've got some curtains and some mats and bits and pieces which to be honest looked a bit of a mess. Here we've got these grey baskets and they had like a silvery effect where you can see it's lighter there in the squares. I'm just zooming in to show you that. And they were £5 for three baskets at the top there. And I thought these would be quite nice, again either in the bathroom with your flannels and toilet rolls in and that kind of thing or you could have them for in the kitchen for the cleaning cupboard which the cleaning stuff would fit nicely in there I thought just moving on to these pastel pink pots and these white ones which are five pounds I thought these would look quite nice on the bathroom tray or a glass mirror tray in your home add it a touch of class and add some interest to any room of your home really. Over here we've got this hanging artificial air plant which was quite nice and I got these artificial tulips in a basket for £7 which would make a lovely Easter gift I thought. Oh that look quite nice on your windowsill in your bedroom. I've also got these slightly smaller ones in a different pot down here and then they've got the bigger ones as well which would look nice at the corner of your lounge or something like that. Here we've got these artificial plants that are £8. We've got some lovely lanterns which if I had a garden I would have bought some lanterns definitely here as they're quite nice in the garden. We've got these lovely little rose gold trays as well and they've got these really retro style shells which they've done for quite a while actually and they've also been a bit of a trend that we've had for quite a while here in the UK. Over here we've got these lovely trees which will be nice for a wedding. You can buy, go back and buy one of them pots that I showed you earlier and have them for your wedding on like an entry um, on the main aisle when you getting married when we were allowed to get we've got some picture frames here but moving down we've got the hanging artificial baskets now these ones that you see on the second rack in the wicker baskets they were 20 pounds each i did look at getting some but i couldn't sustain spending 40 pounds for someone to come along and rob them out the front but i thought if you had a garden i would have definitely bought them as well as they're quite nice i thought they were good quality and they're long lasting so i would have loved anything like that in my garden and i wouldn't have had to bother watering them so if you're not a best gardener these are highly recommended to you as they take minimum maintenance and they look quite good over here they've got these pots and more inside artificial flowers and plants all these are artificial and they look of really good quality I know back in the 90s the artificial stuff didn't look this good. Over here we've got some glitter and rose gold glitter photo frames. I think it's starting from £2 with what that sign's saying there. And I would absolutely love some of these but I don't have a lot of photos out as I film in my home and I don't like going around dusting bits and pieces. Over here we've got some more little plants in a range of pots to do all styles, tastes and decors. These artificial plants starting from £2 and I've also got these glass ones which hang up which may look nice in your bathroom depending on how much space you've got 
and what bits and pieces you've got to hang up in your bathroom. We're just moving on to the laundry and houseware section. We've got these lovely containers here. These ones are made of bamboo. I would have bought one of these. I was really tempted to buy the bumblebee one, but they're quite small. They recommend you can only get fruit in them really, not a sandwich unless it's absolutely tiny. They've got different ones. They've got two in a pack and they've got the round ones as well which you get two in there they've also got some cheap own brand plastic containers which are really good for anyone setting up their first home once again or anyone really who's got a home and just needs to Where get some wait? extra containers for work hear the birds and see the sun i'll show you these two jugs full with the leaves they're ideal for work or at oh, home. Good. These just are the bamboo gone. bird houses. We're just slowly moving into the garden section now. For all this bamboo stuff was really good. It looks like plastic, but it isn't. I think it's slightly more brittle and longer lasting. Look at all different bird feeders here for four pounds. It's all bamboo, these were. And they're reasonably priced. Here we've got the weed and we've got the Miracle Grow and the flower, the flower and plant food which would really help your flowers grow and look quite nice so they had quite a range here after the weed killer and food we're now moving into the metal section which had metal pots, brackets for your permanent balls and they had them for like your hanging baskets which would look quite nice up here they had these big pots which were made of plastic resin which would look quite nice with maybe a planting or two boxes bushes out in front of your home here we've got these trough style window planters which would look nice outside your kitchen or lounge window depending on the style of your property here we've got these garden lights, traditional light bulb, vintage light bulb styles and then we've also got like the fairy lights as well which I'll show you in a minute. These are really nice, I'm always tempted to buy these but I just know for me they'd be a waste of money as I haven't got my own garden. I'm waiting to move so I can have lovely things like this in my garden. I've also got these terracotta pots at the top but they're made out of plastic. And they've got some more fairy lights here with different amounts on and different lengths. I thought they were really good value. I was really surprised at these garden lights and how many different styles colours and the range really, the range in price and the styles that they had. I think some of these must have been left over from Christmas but they were in the garden section with the typical garden lights as well. I really like the different styles and the different ones. I like the silver ones I would have had. Here they've got your own grow your own greenhouse which would be a lovely activity to do for the children when they're next on Easter holiday um, or summer holidays that would be quite nice to do some gardening with them you could grow your own tomatoes and strawberries in there I've had one of these before at one of my shops and they're really good here we've got some rakes, forks and some edging cutters I don't know what they're called, I'm not a gardener and they've got some grey pots up here which I would have really liked in my garden and then they've got the brooms obviously as well over here they've got a wide range of trowels, shovels, litter pickers and 
hedge cutters. They got loads really and they got dust pan and brushes. Down there I think that was the metal ones that you used to be able to get. Now you've got the gardening gloves. They've got some nice feminine ones up here with pinks in, butterflies, lilacs, pinks. And then they've got some other ones down the bottom which are unisex. They've also got these scarecrows that you can stick in your garden. I've never seen anyone with one in their garden yet when I've gone around people's houses. Um, here they've got some, oh I don't know what that is, garden mesh, which is good if you're trying to plant stuff and you don't want birds eating your seeds. And they also got a range of hose pipes as well and artificial buxus bushes down here. Up here they've got these lovely grey basket style pots. I'd love one of them okay, now outside my house with a bush or a nice bay tree. I'd love a fresh one. I used to have two artificial ones outside my shop and sold them on. But they've also got like bits of string, twine and other bits and pieces. Got watering cans and here they've got some bird food done with the lighting. Four in one, it says there, and then they've got the artificial trees down there, which look quite nice with the lights on. So really, you could just spend a fortune in the garden section alone, depending on your budget as well. Here they've got the gnome with the lights, which look nice in your front or back garden. I thought that looked quite nice around the pond actually. And then here we've got some naughty gnomes, which I'll just show you them. That have got their pants down. Some people like a bit of naughtiness, so I thought I'd show you them. And then they've got these cats with the toadstools and other little lighthouses and things for in the garden. They've also got these owls, which I'll just show you them now. They've got the light up eyes. I don't know if they're cat scarers or what they're supposed to be. I've never really worked them out to be honest. Moving on to the outdoor gardens area, we've got these hose lock hoses which are really good I have to say. Um, my family, my granddad and my dad have used them for years and the accessories are really good that attach onto the hose and the connectors, they don't leak like some of the cheap ones we've tried before. Moving on we have these rolls and hoses which are the cheaper brands and I've not used them before but they're just a bit more budget friendly if you're not really bothered about that but I always support hose lockers they are local to me as well here we've got the big teacup planters which are ideal for Mother's Day, birthdays and that kind of thing we've also got these Good Vibes pillows which are £5 and they look quite comfortable we also have these water bottles with a tap on which are for punches and things for in the summer when we're allowed out again which would be lovely. We're just moving on to the outdoor clocks now which is always useful if you've got a wall space or a fence that you can screw it onto because when you're out in the long summers you want to tell the time. We've also got these nice pots as well which are really nice and are made of metal. We've got these lovely pots which range from £1.50 to £3. The washing awesome cans I think are £3 and they look really nice. They're all in different multi colours and they would look really nice in a small garden as they don't take up a lot of space and they make up nice little canisters as well for gifts and just generally around the home really or even in your garden. But this lovely wheelbarrow at the top, which I'm just going to show you now, the wooden ones, that was £10, which I thought was quite reasonable for a wooden Santa wheelbarrow. I know some people have had them for years, they're quite a traditional item. And then they've got these metal pots here that can hang off your balcony, which is ideal if you're in a flat or a masonette with a balcony. Over here, we're moving on to the fence inside, got the trellises and the edging. Um, they had a range of this as well, plastic and a few wooden ones, which I thought was quite nice as well. 
So I've got this mirror as well down here as we're moving to some more interior pieces. We've got elephants and the girls sitting down. And they've also got this man over here, which looks like a Roman face, I think, with water features at the bottom. It's a boy and girl there in the vein, which I think they were about £10. I'm not sure though how much the resin characters were. Over here. Just moving on to these toadstools with glitter on, which I thought were really nice. They had both bits of crushed glass, I think, in them, and they look really nice. It's all the crackled glass next to these tortoises. So I thought they'd look good in your garden, like either in the front garden or the back garden, depending on where you live. As my front garden is a got a fence, so I'd probably have it at the back somewhere if it's me. Over here we've got some more ornaments, we've got some nice rabbits, owls, we've got the seven dwarfs which are always quite popular and I like collector's items and then we've got some swans and some ducks near the end and we've got some like wind chime type things as well, there was a big selection of wind chimes to be honest but they had toadstools and all sorts of different things really and they had these squirrels. There's my thumb in the way again. But anyway, over here they've got some metal things for your garden. They had some like left metal spikes with animals on and different things. Over here they've got like wooden benches and garden chairs. And they've got in all the stuff for the ice creams and ice lolls and picnic and things for in the summer that they always have at this time of year ready for when the summer comes they've also had these lovely calypso type containers here in the yellow and the green which I thought was quite good to make your own actually as it can be cheaper and you can put whatever favourite drink you want in you could do a Ribena one or anything over here they've got some more plant pots which hung up I think some of these were in sets of two for so much they were but they were only quite small so I didn't bother getting any for myself we've got some more foxes and ornaments the foxes are £10 and they've got a boy and a girl on a bench up there as an ornament and then here they've got this pink case which was like um, a picnic basket, a more modern version, which I thought was really good because you could fold it down flat, which would be really nice. I've also got these cushions here, which are white and yellow, and they've got the pink ones as well. Here they've got this crackle effect glass effect um, tumbler, but it's actually plastic, which I thought was quite clever. As I showed you earlier, the pink hamper here is £8 which I thought was really nice and I love that it folded down. We've also got these yellow cushions which would be ideal for in your dining room or your chairs outside depending on what ones you've got. They've got these bowls as well in pink and blue and they had other bits and pieces like smaller ones, beakers, wine glasses so they're quite good as well so they don't break and that. So, they also had these lovely decorative plates as well which were quite nice and these pots. Well I hope you enjoyed that video everyone. I really enjoyed filming it as well. I did quite well really. I tried not to spend a lot of money when I filmed this. I spent about £40 um, but I am trying to cut back as some of you guys know who follow me on my Instagram and not spend so much money as I'm saving up to buy my own home which has been a long-term goal for about 10 years or more now and I just need to get on with it because I'm not getting any younger and it's going to get harder as I get older and the deposits keep going up and up and up and the house prices go up so I just wanted to save on that but I did find the going back to the B&M they did have a lot of nice things in there. I think B&M do really well with their interiors 
as well. When I went to other stores, they don't do as much interiors and they don't change the range, they don't seem to have the turnover. But B&M do a lot of, I think they're really well known now for interiors and bits and pieces like that. They do like cushions, nice throws, and they do lots of interiors. Whereas I did go into a pound land the other day and it was just mainly food and some of their shops do party stuff. But I have got a video for a Poundland shop with me coming up as well, which will be maybe next week or the week after. I haven't decided what order to do my videos. So I do want to do different ones. I don't just want to keep doing shop with me's and hauls because I think that gets boring. So I do like to mix a bit of food in or a vlog in between the videos. But like I say, B&M do have a wide range for everyone. If you're keen on gardening once again, um, my grandma would love it there, going when she had her house with a garden. She used to have a green, um, green house um, and she used to love all that as well. I liked all the little pots and things as well that you can do your own planters because as a former florist I do um, enjoy still every now and then making my own when I've got the time. So let me know as well if you want to see a video on that. So that's enough of me talking. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and comment below. I always get back to my comments as well. And I love the interaction of different people as well. And I'll link my Instagram on this video as well. I've got to do a new um, social media link in the video as well. I am looking into that at the moment. So I'll get that sorted. Please let me know as well what you thought of this video because I've had changed the format slightly as well. I've slowed it down because I felt when I was doing the intro it was going too quick and I was talking about something that had been and gone. So I've slowed it right down now which I wish I'd done it sooner and I think it works much better but where the video would have been 21 minutes it's now gone up to 37. So let me know below what you guys think of this format if you prefer it slower than having it on normal speed where items have gone and I'm still talking about them. So I'm hoping this format will work much better having it slow down, even though the whole video is obviously going to be longer. But let me know anyway, and I'll speak to you um, in the comments. Bye!